Howard K. Smith is in our Washington studios, and he has some thoughts on this moment in our history. So let's go to Washington now and Howard Smith. I'm told that there have been sporadic protests from television viewers at not being able to see their usual and favorite television programs this weekend, and there will probably be more complaints later on. I beg to suggest to complainants that they're seeing what television is really for. Too often we consider this medium just another method of watching movies and seeing what used to be called vaudeville without having the trouble of going to the theater. But its real value is to make people participants in ongoing experiences. Real life is vastly more exciting than synthetic life, and this is real life drama with audience participation. When John Kennedy was assassinated, the nation was overripe for a burst of divisive bitterness. There's no doubt that by being made participants in that tragedy, Americans were purged of bitterness, and television was the cause of that. What the outcome of this participation of hundreds of millions of humans in an otherwise unbelievable human experience will be, we don't know. But as one newspaper commentator said today, we can be sure that things will not be the same again. There's one consolation for television viewers of this event. Reporters who go to political conventions have discovered that if they stayed home and watched television, they would find out more than by going to the convention. Well, you're watching on television and seeing things that one very important figure is not able to witness. He's Michael Collins circling the moon nearer than anybody else to the landing except the men who have landed. And he has been witnessing less than you. He doesn't have a TV receiver in his module, and you've got one in your home. The day men reached the moon. It's been two hours, 18 minutes, two hours, and 19 minutes, precisely as of now, since Eagle. The lunar module with Neil Armstrong as spacecraft commander and Buzz Aldrin as the lunar module pilot set down on the moon in the Sea of Tranquility at a new place on the lunar landscape now christened Tranquility Base. All has gone well. They have completed all their emergency liftoff checklist items and have been given the go to stay on the moon for their, so far for the full length of their projected 21-hour and 27-minute lunar stay time. What's happening now up there is that uh, at this point, Armstrong and Aldrin are scheduled to, and we have every reason to think they are, eating dinner like millions of other Americans. So, uh, <laughs> Who can imagine any more unusual place for two Americans to have dinner than on the moon at this point? They've also been given the go by Apollo Control in Houston after eating to rest, then to begin their moonwalk at about 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time tonight. In an unusual reversal of procedures, a maneuver that was hinted at by Colonel Frank Borman about an hour or so in an interview with us here on ABC. Now here is Neil Armstrong, a tape playback of Neil Armstrong asking for the approval of Mission Control to begin the moonwalk early. Over. Uh, Roger. Uh, our recommendation at this point is uh, planning an EVA with uh, your concurrence starting at about 8 o'clock this evening, Houston time. That is about three hours from now. Stand by. Well, we'll give you some time to think about that. Tranquility Base, uh, Houston, we thought about it. We will support it. We're go at that time. Over. All right, Roger. <clears throat> so that took care of that, and they have decided now to uh, go ahead and have their EVA, their moon walk, in, uh, oh, probably less than three hours from now. There has been, uh, well, the definite times have not been decided because, as Jules just pointed out, Houston has told them that uh, they want them to rest after having their dinner or their lunch or their breakfast or whatever it is, but their, their food anyway in moon time. And uh, then, after resting, they will uh, break the hatch and decide to come out and walk in prime time, so to speak. Very good. By the way, Jules, you talked about them uh, eating. While Peter Jennings was giving the news, we had AOS here. You know what AOS is? No, Frank, what is AOS? Acquisition of steak. Very good, very good. You want to bet on that, Food too. was delivered here. Very good. <laughs> Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin have been on the moon for four hours and 30 seconds. As, uh, four hours and 30 minutes, I'm sorry. It's been a long day here, too. 
as Jules said, uh, at EVA, that, that walk out on the moon uh, probably will begin about 45 minutes or so from now. And about uh, 50 minutes after Armstrong steps out, when uh, both uh, Armstrong and Aldrin are on the lunar surface and have planted the American flag, that's when we expect to have the telephone call, the conversation, really, between President Nixon in the White House and the men, the two Americans, on the moon.